Hey y'all, welcome to the Sisters channel. Let's get into the Impact Atlanta Season 2, Episode 6, No Excuses. Now, this episode, we see Tucson and Tay talking about the pajama party where Tucson basically explains to him that the party was horrible. He says the nose tap from Carlay was the last straw for him and he suggests or mentions having a dinner party and surprising people when they get there with a lie detector test he wants to do the lie detector test so he can prove that Carlay is lying and Tay's like just keep me out of that and in my opinion I just feel like a lie detector is not needed it just sounds childish it's not that serious you and Carlay don't have to be friends you don't have to be around each other y'all just don't vibe together it's not that serious why would you waste your time getting a lie detector test doesn't make sense to me but also Tay mentions his New York class his New York hair class and he's excited because he has a lot of supporters in New York Tucson gets a call from his booking manager that he has a show in DC he says he's nervous and excited and he calls his family and invites them in the next scene we see Carlay and her friend D rushing meeting for lunch she talks about Tucson and her going at it at the party she says she took him off of all of her social medias accounts and Tucson's dramatic and she doesn't see her and Tucson's relationship going anywhere and I agree now I don't want to hear about her and Tucson anymore um she talks about wanting to get back into music with her being an independent artist and she's plans to work on her EP and she has a photo shoot and a mixer coming up for her swimwear launch then we see Ari and her sisters link up to do a sound back Ari says she's been stressed from the break-in with her mom working and the thought of meeting with her dad later on so she says instead of going with her normal mildly aggressive self she says she's going to listen to her enlightened self she says she has to get rid of all this pent-up anger before she goes to meet with her dad now they go into the sound bath meditation room and they go into their deep meditation so after the meditation Ari's like she got a little scared she thought somebody was chasing after her and birds like that's your negativity <laughs> She lets her sisters know that she's going to go meet with her dad to have a conversation. They ask if Kiana's going to go. She's like, Kiana's not going anymore because she doesn't feel good, even though it was her idea. She says she's nervous because they never had a real conversation before, and she doesn't have any expectations going into the conversation. She wants to know his story and what he went through, like why he wasn't there for her, and she just wants to grow and move on overall. In the next scene, we see Carlay at the studio with her friend Pooh. She talks about wanting to get back in the music scene. She says after her lyrics were censored because of the whole YSL thing, she felt doubtful about her career. She plays an unreleased song called Butterfly. It's a cute little bop. She says her relationship with Young Thug made her feel like she got to prove to everybody that she can stand alone. She has her own brand and she has her own meaning. She wants to be more consistent and vulnerable. And her friend Pooh gives her some real good music advice. Then we see Tucson headed to his performance in D.C. with his family. He gets a phone call from Ari. She wishes him a congratulations. And she says she's excited for him. And she wishes that she could be there. In his confessional, he says he's nervous. And that people don't realize how serious he is about rapping because he's so funny. And that overshadows it. He gets to perform. And on the sidelines, you see his aunt and his mom and them turning up. And I love that. He does mention that his dad did not come. And he did feel a way about that. Next, we see Ari. She's at a hotel in Chicago preparing to meet with her dad. She gets a phone call from her mom and Yosan. Yosan's like, I miss you, mommy. Where are you? She's like, I'm in Chicago. And he's like, hmm, how dare you? And she's like, it's just for a day. I'll be back. And then Yosan leaves and she has, she has a conversation with her mom. That's very emotional. And her mom drops some gems as well. The conversation is kind of to like give her advice and prep her for the sit down with her dad. She drops some gems and she says, we can't use what was happening to us as excuses for our children about why we weren't there or why we didn't do certain things. You got to make a decision to be a parent or you don't. As parents, you got to do your job because that's what you've chosen to do, voluntarily or involuntarily. It's your job, and it should be a labor of love. And after that, Ari and her start to tear up a little. She tells Ari not to let him upset her or take her off of her square. And she has to be woman enough to understand that what he says and how he feels is not something that she can change. 
but she can always say that she made an effort to talk to him and if he doesn't try that's on him and no what no matter what she's there and she's always going to be there and she is and Ari is love no matter what and I just love that conversation it was just so beautiful it was a beautiful conversation between her and her mother I was tearing up myself they was in there crying I was tearing up Next, we see Tucson taking pictures for his the cover of his EP. And after he's finished taking pictures, he calls his dad. And in his confessional, he says he's disappointed that his dad didn't come. And on the phone with his dad, he asks his dad if, the, if he listened to the songs that he sent. And the dad said he loves the songs, but some of the lyrics he just can't get with. He says he still supports him. He just, he suggests that Tucson do some gospel music. Or make music that everyone can listen to. He's like, you know, I'm a Christian. You know, I, I don't listen to stuff like that. And Tucson says in his confessional, he understands. Like, his dad's a Christian. He don't want to listen to people talking about effing and all that stuff. So he understands it. And he kind of... You could tell Tucson's feelings was a little hurt when his dad was saying, like, he can't really get with the music. But he kind of laughs his dad's off. And in his confessional, he's like, I I get what my dad is saying, but I have to stay true to who I am. And I can't switch up on me. Now let's get into this horrible conversation Ari had with her dad. I just felt like he was smiling. He he just was really taking her as a joke the whole conversation. It was just really hard to see because it was like she was so vulnerable and he was just looking at her. And the stuff that he was saying was not making any sense. But let's get to get into it. I think the funny is the only funny thing about this conversation was the fact that he comes in. He's like, "What's up? What up? What up?" <laughs> She's like, "What's up?" And she looks at his face, and it's like he got a nose piercing, the little piercings in his ears. She's like, "What's up with all the piercings?" And he's like, "I just like to do my thing, you know." Basically, the whole conversation was all right. She's like, "I just feel like we've never sat down. We've never." actually been together one-on-one we we don't have a bond together I feel like I don't know you you really missed my whole life that was the gist of the whole conversation and he's like well you know I was pretty popular I was a ladies man so Ari's like you was just with the woman and not with your daughter he goes I think I was just living my life and one day I made a pass at your mama or whatever and that's how you was born I still love your mama this ain't we not talking about the mama and Ari's like, so basically, whatever happened between you and my mom, I had to deal with the consequences. And he's like, that's what happened. I wish it would have worked out. My main thing was I made sure I paid child support. And Ari's like, you felt like you paying child support was okay enough for you to be being the dad. And he goes, yeah. And Ari's like, I feel like your reasoning is bull. And he's like, maybe I would have seen you more, but I was paying for three child supports. So you need to picture that my life was just at work. And he also said, well, I see you on Instagram and you look happy. You look like you're doing good. So I don't feel like I need to communicate with you. What? My, I was like, what? What do you mean you see her happy on Instagram so you don't need to call her? That is your daughter. You're, you're not a stranger. People be the happiest on Instagram and feeling like they want to kill themselves at home. This conversation really sucked and Ari was really breaking down. Like she was crying so hard and so much and I could feel the emotion because he he was just, he really didn't care. Like he did not care. He was literally smiling the whole conversation. He just took her as a joke. She's crying. He is smiling, laughing. And I don't know if that was edited or not, but he was smiling. And I can't get over that because your daughter is pouring her heart out to you about how you were not there. And you just smiling. Oh, my heart. Oh, my gosh. I can't talk about this no more. <laughs> so that's how the episode ended. We did not see Dex or Lakia in this episode, and we barely seen Tay, but I'm going to give this episode like an 8.5. I like to see Ari be vulnerable, even though her father pissed me off. And I did like to see Tucson perform and kind of open up about, like, his dad really not feeling his music like that. Like, he supports him, but he's not really feeling his music, you know? And... Carlay, I do like to see this other side because we was only seeing her beefing with Tucson and that was getting on my nerves. So I do, I did like this episode a lot. I do wish that we could see everyone that's on the show in each episode. 
In the previews for episode 7, we see Tay and Ari having some tension. Tay has his hair class, and we also see Carlay do her launch party. Now, I know I'm a little late, probably a lot of late uploading this, but better late than never. So let me know your thoughts on episode 6, No Excuses of the Impact Atlanta season 2 in the comments. Make sure you subscribe and like this video and have a good day.